God that we serve, who is able, our God, who has the times and season is in hands. We want to celebrate the master in the greater end today as we are here just to encourage each other in nothing else but in the power of the ministration of the Holy Spirit, in the power of the word of God, which is life in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I would like to look at the process of a dreamer in the mighty name of Jesus. The title of my message this <laughs> afternoon is the process, learn to embrace the process in the mighty name of Jesus. This afternoon, be encouraged, child of God, as we look and journey into the life of one of the great men that we have learned in this word of God, the life of Joseph, Joseph the dreamer. The scripture that I'm going to stand upon today is on Genesis chapter 37, verse five, where the Bible says, Joseph, went to his brothers and told them that he had a dream. And when he told the brothers that he had the dream, the brothers, the Bible says, the brothers hated him. And today I want to stand upon that text through the life of the man called Joseph in the mighty name of Jesus. If you understand and know the story of Joseph, Joseph was a young man that went through the valley that went through the mountains. He was a young man that faced the challenges in life, but through it all, Joseph was able to embrace the purpose in order to get to the destiny that God had ordained. So this is just an encouragement to each other that as we journey in this journey of Christianity, it is not an easy journey. It's never easy easy to save in the kingdom of God, but we have the power that we have in the word of God. We have great men and women to learn from. And this morning, this afternoon, I am going to walk through the life of the journey of the man called Joseph in the mighty name of Jesus. And as I have said before, you ought to remember if you are to forget anything else about today, but I want you to remember that as you journey in your Christian faith, learn to embrace the process in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Today, as we look at the process of a dreamer, I want us to you to understand. I want you to remember that your dream has got somebody else waiting for it to get blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. There is somebody else there who is waiting for you, the dreamer, to come through and get their healing. There is somebody out there who is waiting for you, the dreamer, to bring an impact into their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. One thing that you ought to understand, child of God, for you to embrace the process, it's not going to take a one day, it's not an overnight process, but it is is a long process. And in this long process, like Joseph, we need to be able to stand on nothing else but on the power of the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Most of us at one time or another, we have had a dream. We have had something big that we wanted to do for God. But when you look back, something happened and your dream has been attacked. It has been put to sleep. Your desire, your love for God, your desire to serve in the kingdom of God, something happened and you are no longer zealous the way you were before. But I want you to be encouraged today that in all this, remember you need to be able to embrace the process in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.
hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, the good Lord, our Bible says, you know, call unto me in the day of trouble. I shall hear your prayer in heaven and I'll answer you. And this is what Joseph had to do as he journeyed through the processes and the challenges that he went through his life in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says Joseph was thrown into a pit by his own brothers. And in that season, when they threw him into the pit, one thing they didn't remember, one thing they didn't know was that they were just setting up a center stage where Joseph and God had to have their own good fellowship time in the mighty name name of Jesus. Joseph refused when they threw him down that pit to say that my dream has been watered down. Joseph refused that he would not have his dream dormant. He refused that he would not have his dream compromised. He refused that his dream cannot be put into a cave because they have thrown me into the pit. But he was more of an encouraged. But in in that season when they threw him into the pit when he was inside that pit he became a more fellowship he had more fellowship with god in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah joseph refused for the enemy to put his dream to sleep what am i saying this afternoon when they threw him into the pit i'm sure they all thought that was the end of joseph but one thing that i love about joseph joseph remembered that god was with him joseph remembered that he who had begun a good work, a good thing in his life was still with him and he will surely bring unto completion. Joseph, the Bible says, he held on to the promise of God. So what am I saying this afternoon, child of God? We need to be like Joseph, that we hold on unto the promise of God. When the dream came, it was not from men, but Joseph remembered there was a God who owned him. Joseph never forgot that it was the grace of God to be who he was. And I want us to remember child of God as we are journeying in this journey. I understand and I know there are moments in life where it hurts, where it feels like we can't push on. But I want you to be encouraged. He who has begun a good thing in you will surely bring it unto completion but you ought to do one thing, learn to practice the presence of God in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. When he was in the pizza, it was only Jesus and Joseph and God in that pit. And it is the same with us. There are many of us who have had through, gone through that experience where it is only you and God. Your friends are no more there. People you call your family are no more there. And it is only you. And we are saying this afternoon, Genesis chapter 37, verse 23, 24, Joseph understood and practiced the presence of God in that pit, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What am I on about? When you are in that pit, those are the lonely moments. Those are the times when we feel abandoned. Those are the lonely moments when we think we are all by ourselves. And I don't know whoever I'm speaking to today. Maybe you are out here today. Maybe you are there and you are feeling that, oh my God, I am all by myself in the mighty name of Jesus. What is happening now? There is nothing bad that is happening. But the reality of the matter is, it is just a sense the sage for you as a woman of God 
for you as a child of God, for you as a man of God, to practice the presence of God. I do understand we are a generation that do not want pain. We are a generation that wants to walk on a bed where there are just roses. But I want you to be encouraged this afternoon. If the Bible never promised that we shall be walking through that, but he says, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, ah, you do not need to fear anything, for the Lord is with you. So I don't know whatever, Peter, the enemy might have thrown you in. Is it your mental health being? Is it your broken heart? Is it your physical health? Is it your social life? Is it your social relations where you are feeling that you are in? that dark pit, daughter of God, do not lose hope. My assignment to you, my dreamer, my assignment to you, child of God, is that you hold on and practice the presence of God through that season. How are you going to be able to do that? Remember when Joseph was under in that pit, when he felt forsaken, when he felt mistreated, and when he felt left alone in the Minutes of that walk, Joseph never forgot that the Lord who gave him the dream, he who made it possible for him, was still with him. So, what am I saying today? Arise, daughter of God, arise, child of God, and send them. Hold your shoulders up and remind the devil that he who is in me is far much greater. Yes, he who promised is still thou art with me. He who is able to make a way will surely make a way where there seems to be no way. Yes, weeping may enjoy for the night, but my Bible says the joy of the Lord cometh in the morning. I don't know where you are. I don't know you threw you in the pit. Whatever circumstances whatever challenge that you are facing that is causing you to be in the pit be encouraged this afternoon just embrace the process and learn to practice the presence of God in your life in the mighty name of Jesus, understand this shout of God. In that pit, Joseph, in that season, in that time, there was no one else around for him. There was no one else to encourage him. No one was there to tell him, it's going to be all right. There were no one there. Who, the ones that had put him down in there, they were expecting him. Uh, the ones that he expected to be, com to be comforting him were actually the ones that had actually thrown him into the pit. But oh my God, oh my God, because Joseph understood the power that we have when we embrace the process. My Bible says Joseph remembered that God was with him. And my Bible says, I will not leave you as orphans. This is the Lord Jesus Christ when he was about to go, encouraging the disciples. And I believe and I know that's the same encouraging words. The Bible says, he says unto his disciples, do not be discouraged. Do not be dismayed. For I will not leave you as orphans, but I shall send him the comforter who shall be with you, him the Holy Ghost, your great teacher, your counselor. So what am I on about this afternoon, church of God? We have a counselor. We have a comforter. His name is Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. No other name above the name of Jesus. He is indeed the true lion of the tribe of Judah. He is the beginning and the end. He is the way maker. He is the one who breaks the chains in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
So child of God, in whatever situation, be encouraged. You belong to a kingdom that cannot be shaken, that cannot be moved. Hallelujah. Bring it on, devil, in the mighty name of Jesus. I am embracing the process. What am I saying, daughter of God? Do not join the enemy and complain, but get down on your knees. Get into your worship gear. Embrace the process. How then can I embrace the purpose, woman of God? Someone is asking, do you even understand what I am facing? Do you know how deep it is? Do you even know for how long I have been through this? But still and still and still, my assignment to you, daughter of God, to you, child of God, is to encourage you that embrace the purpose, embrace the process in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For the Bible says in Romans, he will surely work it together for good. So when the enemy brings you into your pit, when the enemy squeezes you into your corner, you serve a God. You serve a God. That will surely work it together for your good. You can never be disadvantaged. Ah, the God that you believe, the God that you answer to will make a way where there is no way. The God that you worship will come through for you. All you have to do like what the man our dreamer Joseph did was learning to embrace the process and in the same time practicing ah, the presence of God in the mighty name of Jesus through worship, through staying in peace, through celebrating, through the pain when tears were coming down his cheeks, I believe and I can see Joseph now he began to worship God that through it all I will learn and I have learned to trust the Lord I am visualizing Joseph the moment he was in that pit in that dark pit, he began to see God coming through when the word of God visited him and told him that he's going to become this great king in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Ah, what am I saying, child of God? The first stage of seeing our dreams, the first stage for us to be able to walk into our destiny is we need to learn to practice the presence of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, I do understand. Ah, being able to be in this generation, we see we might be able, we might be good at a lot of things, but one thing we should be great at, as long as you are a daughter of God, as long as you are a partaker of the army of God in this season, one thing that we ought to be great out the most is learn to practice the presence of God. Have you come to understand when you look around us, it seems like church is defeated. Why? Because we have forgotten how to practice the presence of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What am I saying to you this afternoon? Ah, be encouraged. In whatever you do, in whatever challenge you face, that you remember and know that you are not neglected. The Lord is with you in the mighty name of Jesus. No matter what Joseph went through or where he was, he has always prospered because he took God with him. 
uh, help me this afternoon. If I may just ask this question, ask yourself into your the spirit man, do you have God in every area of your life? Do you take God in every each and every situation of your life? In the mighty name of Jesus. One thing that you need to know, that great thing that I love about Joseph, he did not need a preacher to preach him to victory. Joseph didn't need a choir to sing him to victory. He didn't even need to shout and run around to get the victory. But he knew how to tap into the presence of God. So what am I saying, child of God? May our spirit men be encouraged this afternoon that whatever cometh my way, may I learn to taper into the power of the presence of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, child of God, we want uh, to be encouraged this afternoon. So my point number one, in the embracing the process through the life of Joseph, learn to practice the presence of God in every situation. When the enemy expects you to cry, wash your face and begin to sing. When the enemy is expecting you to complain, begin to open up your mouth and declare, indeed I shall see the goodness of my God in the land of living. In the mighty name of Jesus, when the enemy is fighting, he is throwing punches at you. Child of God, I be a terminator Arise, get back onto your feet through your intercession, through your prayer life, through your worship, through the word of God, and practice the presence of God for you and your household. In our families, when situation arise, may your husband, may your wife, may your children, may your family members know that you will refer them back in practicing the presence of God by taking them back to the word of God. Never give people advice when you are diverting them from the word of God. In the Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, I know there is so much that is out of there, and it is it has actually become a, a practice within the Christian circles where people are undervaluing the power that is in God, the power that is in the word, and we put our faith in the things of this world. Our daughter and son of God, child of God, my sister, my friend, my mother. Ah, may we join forces and practice the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Our great teacher, the Lord Jesus Christ himself, when he was tempted in the wilderness, my Bible says, he responded to the devil and said, it is written. Ah, child of God, may you confess, may you profess the word of God. Live it aloud in every every area of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And you surely, surely, your God will show up in style. Your God will show up in time. Your God will show up in a mighty way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come out from complacency. Come out from compromising. And stand on the foundation of the truth of the word. For the Bible says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. There is nothing we ought to add when it comes to the integrity.
reality of my Christian journey. May I be true to my profession. May I be true to my confession in the mighty name of Jesus. Be encouraged. Ah, Hanerebo Samai. Be encouraged this afternoon. Embrace the process in the mighty name of Jesus. It's okay when life hurts. It's okay when challenges come our way. It's okay when the character assassinate your name. It is okay, child of God, when you go through some stuff. Ah, be like Joseph. Embrace the process and stand and practice the presence of God in your life. You will be rest assured. You will come through for you in Jesus' mighty name. Point number two. Joseph in Genesis chapter 39, verse 17 through 19. Ah, he was falsely accused. Ah, many of us, we have been through that time. Some of us, we have experienced it. When your name has been accused, when they said you said what you didn't say, when they explain what you meant when that's not what you meant, we have been in that place. Maybe someone here today, you are actually in that season where you have been falsely accused. Potiphar's wife reports that Joseph had raped you. Ah, child of God. Ah, child of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ought to stand out like Joseph. He overcame criticism. Hallelujah. 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 How did Joseph overcome the criticism. How did Joseph overcome the accusation? Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, if ever you are going to pursue your dream as a worshiper, as a minister, as a woman of God, <laughs> I feel for the ministers in this season where our our answer and answer to the call is being questioned because of what is happening around the world. And I'm happy to say, uh, may we be them of that generation that will refuse to compromise, to be anything else, but we choose to stand for the truth. We choose to stand for the truth. Let the enemy accuse you. Let the world accuse you, but know how to overcome criticism and accusation in the mighty name of Jesus. What am I saying? Because many a times the enemy will get you busy thinking about what they have done, who has done it to you, why have they done it to you, but I want you to be encouraged. Joseph never gave a minute, neither a second of his time to concentrate on what the what his first wife was saying, on what the critics were saying, because he understood. <coughs> And it was not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how strong the man stumbles, but what Joseph did, he remembered that I have a destiny to go. I am going through a process and I'm not going to allow this to derail me. I'm not going to allow these false accusations to weaken me down because he who has called me ah, hey, is on my side. He's still working it together for good. So child of God, fight your critics by standing on the truth of the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ought to arise above our critics. Remember the story of Nehemiah, the great man of God, when he went back to Jerusalem and he was building back the wall of Jerusalem. Ah, Barathe, Tobiah, and his friends came 
name, but because Nehemiah remembered what was more important, he didn't pay attention. So what am I saying, daughter and child of God, this afternoon? There are times when the enemy is stealing our time. He's stealing our minds, bringing confusion, bringing bitterness, bringing anger, because we are holding on to our criticisms. We are holding on to the accusations the world has made. But I want you to be encouraged this afternoon. You serve a God who will bring you through, though you walk through the fire. He didn't say out of the fire. We need to go through the the fire. Hallelujah. In my Daniel, we will come up through the fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Surely the Lord will make a way for you. The Lord will come through for you. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, let them like Joseph strip your coat away, but don't let the devil strip your character. Don't let the devil strip your faith. Don't let the devil destroy your confession of faith because of accusation and criticism. You are bigger than that. You are stronger than that because greater is he who is in you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. May the Lord may be able to take away many things from you, but let them never take away your dream, the promise of God over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Point number three, Joseph, though he was thrown after the accusation, he was thrown into prison. Genesis chapter 4, but I loved Joseph because he knew the God that he said. My Bible says Joseph used the gift where he was. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. It didn't matter where they put him. Joseph didn't stop becoming a child of God because of what he had gone through. Joseph never de denied his love for God because of challenges in life like many of us in our generation when life happens we have a tendency to refuse god we have a tendency to refuse to serve in the kingdom but i want us to be encouraged like joseph though in prison he continued to use his gift in the prison as a dream he began to interpret dreams he began to serve in the most difficult places, a place that he was thrown in, not because he was guilty, though he was innocent. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm. Ah, help us, Holy Spirit. Let it be your prayer. May it be your portion that no matter what I go through, help me, Holy Ghost, that I may never leave you in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, by continually using his gift in that prison. What Joseph was just saying to the church, he was just saying, remain faithful. Hallelujah, hallelujah, faithful, and remain faithful. In other words, keep your integrity. In other words, remain true in the mighty name of Jesus. Even though he was in a place that was not good, he remained faithful. It is my prayer, child of God, that in the testing of our faith, may we remain faithful. May we remain faithful. Ah, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, in the mighty name of Jesus. Not only when things are good, not only when they are clapping their hands for you, but I'm saying even in the testing of time, may you remain 
faithful. Hallelujah. Child of God, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Ghost. Stay faithful in the storm. Look around our world. Church of God, may we remain faithful to the end. In the mighty name of Jesus, many a times Christians drop out of ministry because things didn't go their way. Many a times we have left church, we have resigned in positions, we have actually denied our faith. Many a times I am embarrassed to let my colleagues know at work that I I am a Christian, but I want you, daughter, I want you, son of God, be like uh, Joseph, remain faithful through the test of time. Hallelujah. The man Joseph never compromised in any way. He never complained, but he remained faithful. In other words, in embracing the process, Joseph remained <clears throat> faithful in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. If Joseph had not embraced the process, <clears throat> In my conclusion, let us look at the process of Joseph. If Joseph brothers had not sold him to the Midianites, then Joseph would have not gone to Egypt. If then Joseph would have not gone to Egypt, he would have never been sold to Potiphar. If he had not then been sold to Potiphar, Potiphar's wife would have never falsely accused him of rape. If she had not accused him and falsely accused him of rape, then Joseph Joseph would not have been put to prison. If he had never been put to prison, then he would have not met with the cup, the bear, the baker, and the butler of Pharaoh. If he had not met with them two gentlemen, he would have never interpreted their dreams. If he had not interpreted their dreams, then he would have not been able to interpret Pharaoh's dreams. If he had not been able to get to interpret Pharaoh's dreams, he would have never made it to be the prime. Minister, if he had not uh, been meant to be the prime minister, he never wisely have, have administered for the severe famine coming upon the region of his family. If he had not been that good through that season, then his family back in Canaan would have perished of famine. If his family would have perished back in Canaan. Then remember our Messiah could not have come forth from a dead family. Remember we are here standing for the service of Jesus Christ to save the true lion of tribe of Judah whose name is Jesus. So if Joseph, Joseph, Joseph had not embraced the purpose, then where would our Lord Jesus been come from? Ah, child of God, I want you to understand the power of embracing the purpose the process in the mighty name of Jesus. If the Lord Jesus Christ could have not come, you and I would have been dead in our sin. But I celebrate Joseph this afternoon and I want to celebrate every daughter, every son of God who is going through a process and you are embracing that process because you are being a bridge for many. Jesus came because of Joseph learning to embrace the process. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Help me, Holy Ghost, in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, tenacity, ah, courage, boldness, in the mighty name of Jesus, that we face the enemy in power as we embrace every process 
destiny for us to get to our destiny. Hallelujah. Just to be encouraging to each other this afternoon. Ah, because you are going through the process. Hang in there, daughter of God. Hang in there, child of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, stay in courage. In the mighty name of Jesus, embrace your process. It's okay where you are. Embrace the process and learn from Joseph. Practice the presence of God. Overcome your accusers. Overcome criticism. In the mighty name of Jesus, Faithful through the storm in the mighty name of Jesus. If you give up on your dream, if you are to give up on your faith, remember this child of God. If you are to sleep, ah, and put your dream into the grave. There are people that will die. You are called and raised at such a time as this for you to be a mouthpiece, for you to hold a sister's hand. Through the mighty name of Jesus, be encouraged. The good Lord bless you. And remember, embrace the process. In the mighty name of Jesus, remember, you are to practice the presence of God every day, every night, every minute, and every second. Overcome criticism, it's part of life. Overcome accusation, it's part of the journey. And above everything else, continue to say in the kingdom of God in any way, Ah, in the mighty name of Jesus and remain faithful in the storm. The good Lord bless you. We love you and stay blessed. Good afternoon to you. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost.